the seventh MAPS concert. <laughs> Take those poems and turn them into songs, and then what we'll do is have a big concert. And uh, I think he hung up on me because he thought I was crazy. However, he called me back Monday and said, yeah, you know, I think that we can do this. And we have. And we've done it now every year. And some years, kids here from this school in Harlem come to Massachusetts. And then the next year, the kids from Massachusetts come here to New York City so I want to give a huge welcome to our friends from the Pioneer Valley Performing Arts School from Massachusetts. They came all the way here to play songs based on the poems of my fourth graders. So let's give them a big round of applause. All right, I now uh, just want to introduce my colleague, my friend, and my relative, Tom Willis. Thank you, David. We've uh, had so much fun doing this program over the last seven years, and uh, it's great to be back here at your school, because it's been two years. We weren't here last year, because the kids came to Massachusetts, so we were here two years ago. And it's always great to come here and see all of you. You give us a big welcome when we got here. It's great. So, what we're going to do is have the poets read their poem, and then we're going to have the PBPA kids perform the songs that they've written from or with those words from those poems. So we're going to do that song after song. There's 11 songs all together, and we can't wait to hear you guys read your poems, and I can't wait for you to hear them turn those into songs, okay? So let's go. Here we go. The, the first poem was called Buttermilk, and it was written by a poet uh, named Quadir Brown, who transferred out of uh, this school. So unfortunately, he um, cannot be here today. However, we have a veteran of the poetry program, and a dear friend of ours, Miss Valeria Ceylon, who will be reading the poem Buttermilk. Valeria.
was awesome. And now I would love to call up our friend, Miss Kira Germanaria. Kira is going to be reading a poem she wrote entitled Writing Poems.
I'd like to call up a friend of mine named uh, Mr. Juan Garcia. Juan? There's going to be a poem called In the Trash that was written by uh, all of the Mosaic poets.
Now with these beautiful harmonies, make it better with the dream. This is great. Okay. Um, the next poem is called Flint, and it was written by Pedro Alicia. However, he had uh, apparently had a, a basketball accident, so he can't be here today. But I have good news that my friend Wendelin Munoz is going to be reading um, Pedro's poem. Wendelin, please come up. Here's Wendelin. I was told from her very good friend, whose name I will not reveal right now, that Wendelin uh, likes every movie, is very kind, and dates Rihanna. <laughs>
Michael Knight 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 amazing audience participation. Got into the waiting myself. And now I'd like to call up my old friend, Mr. Juan Garcia. Juan told me this is the second time on the stage, and he's now officially 0% nervous. He wrote a poem called Seaside Dreams. Here is Juan. Pedro 
Alicea. Once again, he's not here because he had an injury. So I'd like to welcome to the stage again my friend, Miss uh, Evangeline Munoz, who's reading.
All right, that was beautiful. Bullies never, uh, never end up too well. Next song, uh, the next poem is called Path, and I'd like to bring up my old friend Amber Rodriguez. Now this poem was written by the entire uh, Mosaic Poets class, and we wrote this poem after reading a poem by Robert Cross. Here we go.
my old friend Valeria Salon, and of course Miss Emily Payne. And I believe they're going to be alternating sandwiches, is that right? Okay, take it away.
Thank you all for being here. And I just want to give a big, big thank you to Mabel Sullivan. This is her second time here doing So it wouldn't sound as good without her. So thank you all. It's been a great day.